Hey people, it's me, Eco Chick, and I'm here with the crew in Tank Life. And yeah, these little Alvin are changing even more. So take a look. What do you notice? Anything you're wondering today? Check them out. See how they're moving now? And do you see that big cluster over there? How wiggly it is? Yeah, they're starting to definitely be more active. Imagine being a little alevin over in that pile and how wiggly that must feel. It would feel just a little bit tickly and it would probably make you want to move a little bit too. Yeah, so Everything's looking pretty good in Tank Life today. We are predictably at 53 degrees in our tank. It's almost 60 degrees in the room, so that's a little bit warmer. And yeah, the water is cool and clear. pH is slightly elevated. The um, ammonia is looking pretty good so I'm calling it zero it does look a little tiny bit greener than when I looked the last time but that might just be the lighting um, so yeah frowny frog isn't really so frowny they're just sort of serious and even I think frowny looks a little bit happy today being able to care for that olivine I think is really good for their spirits I'm gonna take you up to the top and give you the bird's eye view of our water and yeah, unfortunately the fluorescent light above me, water is so reflective and that's actually something that helps these little salmon, um, you know, when they're at this stage out in the wild, hide. And so as we, you know, we're looking from up here, you may or may not notice that they're kind of hard to see. Yeah, they're a little bit darker on the top and as they get bigger, they'll get lighter and they're underneath as their egg sacs get used up. And the egg sacs are getting smaller because we're getting really close to the sac fry stage. Sac fry technically is at 1200 or 1200 temperature units and we're getting really close to that. But everything with our little um, creatures has been a little delayed so we'll see it may be a little more than that but we'll just have to wait and see hey Seymour hey Snarky so yeah things are looking super good and um, you know we're getting close to the weekend so we'll have a couple days away and we'll just see you know what happens when we come back and bring you over here so you can kind of get a view of what's happening here and while I'm here I just want to give a shout out to family school. I had such a great time in their one, two, three blend class yesterday. And so here's a shout out to those awesome kiddos. Thanks for being such great listeners. And the best part was all of your amazing questions. So yeah, that was really fun. It was a highlight of my week, actually. I don't really get to be with kids as much, um, you know, in this COVID time. So that was super rad. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? Look at them. Little boop, boop, boop. They are, um, you know, they're still piling a little bit, but the pile is a little bit more wiggly. And um, they are, when they're moving about the tank or they're moving about the cabin, uh, they are looking more what is called horizontal in their movement. That means that it's side to, you know, they're sort of more parallel with the top and the bottom of the tank instead of being more vertical with their head leading the way up and down. They're not bobbing around it quite as much like that. So, yeah, things are looking super healthy and um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens over the weekend and how wiggly and how much more they're moving when I come in on Monday. So... I'm going to take you over to our chart because it's always good to look at the data. We haven't lost any. 
it's really amazing. So I'm super stoked about that. Uh, zero sack fry, but that'll start changing. It'll be really hard to tell the difference though. The main thing is that their egg sack is more used up and that's starting to be um, noticeable now. I noted that we were looking for, you know, around 1200 for our sack fry and at 1,183, think about that. Hmm, hmm, wow. 83 is really close to another 100, so wow, we're getting pretty close. Ammonia is at zero-ish, 7.6 on that pH, and we're just going with that. The cool, clear water is exactly what they need. Their egg sacs are getting smaller. Some of them are getting smaller, and I noted what I already mentioned, that some are swimming more horizontally, and it looks more like that. Yesterday, I couldn't really think of the words, but I added them, so they were more vertical in their movement, but just overnight, they're starting to change a little bit, and they're definitely more wiggly in their groups. I'm adding more pH down just to try to keep that stable, and yeah, I'm just going to bring it back over for one final look at what's happening. They're just so fun to watch. Yeah, and check out the Salmon Spot website. And um, there are a couple of live cam options that will be available there. You can find all of the Tank Life videos, of course. And there's lots of great information about salmon and different uh, things that they need and things that are affecting them with climate and just that already affect them because of the life cycle that they live. It's so complicated and long. There's so many stages. So they can be eaten at a lot of stages. They eat at a lot of stages and it's super cool. They're very important in freshwater and saltwater environments. That's super unique. And they are known as a keystone species. And I'll talk more about that another time. But a keystone species is a very, very important species. So this is Eco Chick and all the Alvin and the crew here in Tank Life signing out. Have a wonderful whatever you do.